you are most welcome so the first thing you have to do is to record the color tape and the colors there that i'm using for this one the whiteness is a 4.5 so that is the whiteness of this uh, color tape while the length is a 5.2 uh, inches so just fold it into two like this so fold it into two like this to get the center and then you measure it from this edge measure 1.2 uh, inches so just mark that please and then you place ruler on it to slant it so you just mark it uh, straight down like this and then you you cut it down so just trim this one out like this and so that is the shape we are using for this uh, pocket so this is the back of the material the length of this uh, material is a uh, nine inches so why the wideness is a uh, seven 0.5 inches so just this is the front of the collar stay where the gum is and then you have to place the back on it like this so facing the material so just place a ruler on it to create the shape we have to be we have to follow on it then you just cut it out like this so just follow that shape and just trim it out then this is the material that i'm using this is the flower material that i'm using just place it like this and then you stitch it uh, straight down so now the next thing to do here is to open this uh, material so just open this like this so let me trim out this excess and give it a little shape so that is it so this is a the thread that i'm using you can see it's a normal thread so please if you want to know if you want to have a, a detailed explanation on how to make a threading on a, on a maybe on a plaquette i have a video for you on that so i will give you i will drop a link to that video in the description box below so just make this one into six line so into six lines so this line now is in a six is in a six so after you have done that then you reel it on the on the ruler so just roll it on a ruler like this so just roll it on it so that is it so now put it into the bobbin care so that a uh, short so you can see that the short is not uh, is, is too tight so you have to lose it a bit so that the tray will be able to enter inside so just lose it a bit let me retight it small so that is it so you fix it onto the machine and then you bring it out like this so here's the material after i've already opened it then you place it like this so make sure you watch this uh, line now and make sure that it's tally it's aligned with the joining on this uh, material so you just have to press it now and this is it after i've already pressed it and now you have to have mark the area where we need to run the threading on and then just leave a little space from the edge and then you mark it uh, all round like this so that is it so now the next thing to do now is to trace it out on this uh, line but before I do that, let me test the stitches so that I'll be able to see whether the stitches is okay or not. So make sure you first run a little stitches on the pieces of material for you to know whether the stitches is okay or not before you run it on the main material you are sewing. So just stitch it straight and trace it on the line like this. Please, if you are yet to subscribe to this channel, make sure you click on the subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up if you are yet to do that. If this is the first time you are checking on this channel, you are highly welcome to Nobuti Fashion Channel. And this is the channel that brings you the easiest, fastest and the simplest method on how to cut or sew anything on a maid's dress. I have a lot of video for you on this channel, which I believe you are able to enjoy from. So make sure you click on the subscribe button. So you can now bring out the thread from the back, and then you just bring it out to the from the front to the back. So just draw the tr thread like this for you be to be able to bring out the 
thread to the back so you can see this uh, rough that i have here so sometimes this happen so but you just have to cut it out like this so this may happen sometimes so you just have to bring it out like this and this normally affects the work so i will have a lose it again and start all over but i want to show you how this is done if you encounter anything like this when you are running the stitches on the trace so just bring it out and then you trim it like this so you can see this so you just have to start from the from this again and make sure that the stitches is not too much so you don't you don't back stitch when you are running a threading on the material like this you don't need to back stitch it so you just cut it and then because this stitches is, is like a double now you may not be able to bring it out to the to the back you not be able to bring it to the back so all you need to do is to cut it at the front and the back also then you use lighter to burn the thread so this may not be possible you can see that you can see that i'm not able to bring out the the thread to the back so you just have to cut it like this and then use lighter to burn the thread to avoid this uh, rough so that is it you can see that so the best thing is to run the stitches straight down without having any cutting without having any break thread break at the middle so this will make your water come out very neat and then clean so the reason why I leave that is to make you see or know that this happens sometimes when you are running a threading on the material. So just tie it at the back like this and that is it. So the next thing to do now is to fold the edge and the back and the top also. So this is the result after I've fold the edge and the top of the material. Please give you the right value in this video. Make sure you click the subscribe button and also give this video a thumbs up. To the next time that I bring you another amazing video like this again, I say thank you for watching and then bye for now.